on the famous Paris Roubaix velodrome here in Roubaix, northern France, and we had Elisa Longo Borghini, the Italian champion, winning with a massive solo move, coming in here to the velodrome, celebrating. We're gonna get all the interviews with all the riders, and then we're gonna race out here, drive south down to Copiana, where the start of the men's race is on Sunday, Saturday to Sunday, 24 hours, complete madness, and I'm gonna take you through it. What a great race by uh, Lisa Longo Bergini. That was her biggest win to date, and she could thank her teammates because back there in the chasing group, she had two teammates blocking. She had Lucinda Brand and her teammate Ellen Van Dyke doing the dirty work back there with other stars like Lada Capecchi, who wanted to bridge up and try a shot at winning the race. What time is it, Jean? 8 10. 8 10. All right, we have to find some dinner. We found the start area for tomorrow. We're doing a little recon, but importantly, the restaurant's over this way. We're gonna dip into a little red wine. Now the riders will be lining up right there tomorrow to start the men's race, 257 kilometers. And who are gonna be the favorites? Well, I'm gonna be watching out for Walt Van Art just to see how he's going after he's recovered from coronavirus. And then you get your favorites like Matthew Vanderpool, but it's a big difference from last year. It's dry and dusty conditions. But I'm curious to see how Ineos goes because they've been dominated. We saw Magnus Sheffield the other day win on Wednesday, Tom Pitcock, and they also have Dylan Van Barrel on the team who finished second the other day in Flanders. Yeah. So I'm going to be looking out for Team Ineos tomorrow. You know we're in France and we got the French fries, right? Another storyline I'm watching tomorrow is Matthew Vanderpool. Will he be able to pull off the double? Flanders and Paris Roubaix, and it's a unique double this year because we have Amstel Gold Race coming in the middle of the two. But if he does win it, he'll be one of the few riders to win the double. Paris Roubaix, along with Tour Flanders, coming ahead of it. And he'll win a race that his father, Audrey Vanderpool, has never won. Now, because it's a big race tomorrow, I'm fueling up and I have some tartar to do. there at nine o'clock tomorrow and I'm tired. It's seven o'clock in the morning, it's time to go. To the race start and here we are, the cars are coming in, the buses are coming in, soon the riders are gonna be signing in over here. Mm. I must say this morning, Matthew Vanderpool, he looked calm, cool, and collected. He did win the Tour of Flanders earlier this year. Had a pretty decent Amstel Gold Race, but what we learned in the Amstel Gold Race is that he doesn't have a lot of big teammates, so all the pressure's on him. So if he gets in a move, he's gotta do all the work, unlike Ineos the other day in Brabant St. Pill, three riders in that winning move, and we saw, bam, Magnus Sheffield right away. The riders have about 200 kilometers to go. We have about an hour and a half to drive. As I say in French, on y va. And we made it here to the velodrome and the race is lighting up. Ineos went on the tack with more than 200 kilometers to go. Oh, this race is magical. 3.30 p.m. and everything's just been going bonkers today. Team Ineos Grenadiers blew things up around 100 kilometers. It all came back together. And then now we have this group, this trio up the road with Matei Morohic. We're around 65 kilometers to go and the tension is building. Van Vala now is the rider who is driving away for the Ineos Grenadiers. 
seven kilometers to go. We have a completely different race now because Dylan Van Barl, he profited from all that early work from Team Ineos. He attacked with 18 kilometers to go on a cobbled sector. Now it looks like he might win this race. He's away solo behind our Moral Hitch and Lampard, and they're gonna be coming to this velodrome soon. The tension is super, super high. Dylan Van Barla has already started to celebrate. He looks across and starts to almost freewheel across the cobbles and just savor this moment. We're gonna hear the roar of the crowd right now. There comes Dylan Van Barle into the velodrome. He's gonna win the Paris Roubaix. The 29-year-old Dutchman from Ineos Grenadiers gives them their first win in the Paris Roubaix. Like it might be Van Aert for second place. That's it, 24 hours in Paris Bay from the women's race here to the men's race. Dylan Van Barl, the winner. Van Aert second, Stefan Kung looks like he took third. What a race.